This is upsetting, I swear. Alright, torture tuck. Alright, so I want to review the new J. Cole album. Or new J. Cole song, I should say. I'm sorry. New J. Cole song. And uh, I want to talk about how it's making people feel some type of way. So I'm going to get into the song first. Review the song. So J. Cole drops the song. Link will be in the description if you want to see the, uh, hear the song. Uh, and I think that this song that he dropped it was very, very much needed. I think that what he said in this song was very powerful. But I'll get into what he said later. But lyrics was on point. That's one, one thing about J. Cole. I think that he, he took the appropriate flow for this because it's what's going on now. And a lot of people are going to pay attention more because of the flow. And some people might not get what he's saying because of the flow and they might just listen to how he's flowing and they just skip skip what he's saying. But they're going to listen. But see, the genius part about it is, you know they listen to the flow, eventually they're going to listen to the words because it's 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 going to be one of those songs that you got to repeat in your head. So now you start to listen and then now you get it gets to the people. It's like, oh, oh, damn, he said that? Oh, then you start to listen. You could be home by yourself, watching TV, and the song could be playing. Well, not watching TV. Who's watching TV? Some people do that. But you could be watching TV, and the song be playing. And you, it, something just hits you. One of the words just hits you. And you're like, now you listen to the whole thing. And you're like, oh, wow. Or you could be watching YouTube, and somebody break down what he was saying. Who knows? But with that being said, the beat was appropriate. The song was damn near a perfect song. Very good. Very good song. I think that uh, if I had to rate this song, I, I would probably give it a strong 9. Push it to a 10. Very good song. Um, so I think J. Cole, with this one, I think he hit it out the park. Now, as far as the content goes, and here's where I come in with, with talking about the criticisms. See, people need to understand. Everybody's not a part of the cancel culture. And everybody needs to stop this because I disagree with you. I have to, you have to get out of here. Or you have to, be, be, you know. And that's what it is. So, conscious, this record is more of a conscious record. And I think that what he did was he kind of like revealed how the black man in this country is being looked at as not wanting to help the movement of what's going on and I think that people are totally wrong about it and he explained why we feel the way we feel and why we do the things we do very well and a lot of people are calling him misogynistic or they're saying oh I can't believe he said that because he's speaking the truth from his point of view why are you upset about it I don't understand it why I say this all the time. If you don't like something, just don't listen to it. Like, why? I mean, okay, yeah, you can have an opinion about it. Be like, yeah, I don't like that. But to call a man names because he's saying how he feels, that's kind of that's kind of stupid. It's like, you disagree with him how he feels and you're going to call him a name. Or you, don't, you, you just got a lot to say about it. And the thing is, a lot of y'all fans out there, y'all would never be brave enough to do something like that. Because y'all all want to be a part of a part of something not saying that he don't want to be but still he spoke the truth he did this years ago when he said something about white rappers you know so i get it and now all of a sudden everybody oh j cole j cole j cole's conscious and then it spills over to kendrick and how i feel about this whole situation with kendrick and cole is like Y'all expect these dudes to be y'all saviors, and they're not. They're just entertainers, and y'all putting them in a position where they're y'all saviors, and they're not. If you want a savior, go to church. That's what it's for. Go to church. 
Stop asking Kendrick and Cole to be your social uh, conscious saviors. They're not. These dudes are entertainers. They're rappers. And if they decide they don't want to say nothing, were well, you going to cancel them so they have to agree with you? So now, J. Cole said something and you don't like it, but you begged him to say something. And now he says something and you don't like it. It doesn't make sense. So now when Kendrick says something, you probably ain't going to like it. I don't get it. I just, my thing with Kendrick Lamar is, is Kendrick been saying this. He's been talking about black awareness. He did this five years ago. He talked about this five years ago. I don't understand why you guys are expecting him to jump out and say something. Oh, we need Kendrick to say something. Why is he ain't saying nothing? Why, 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 why? Kendrick Lamar is not even the most conscious rapper. Why don't you ask Common to say something? Why don't you ask Talib or, or other conscious rappers? I don't get it. And it's like the whole thing of people like, oh, I don't know if this is uh, uh, socially conscious. It's conscious, but not socially conscious. What the fuck is that? And, and it's like, y'all want to pick and choose. Pick and choose how y'all want somebody to say something. I want you to say it like this. And if they say, no, I don't want to say it like that. Well, I, don't know. Well, I want you to say something, but I want you to say it like this. And they say, well, no, I'm going to say something, but I'm going to say it like this. No, you can't say it like that. Because you say it like that, I ain't going to like it. I want you to say it how I want you to say it. It's like, why? And this is what we're dealing with nowadays. So the whole thing with J. Cole and this song, I'm glad he put this song out. Because it speaks from the point of view of what people were not talking about. The black man and how they feel about being saying that you 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 supposed to do this, you supposed to do that. How much pressure we got going on us on top of that, cops on our head. Like, come on now. So like I said, song's a great song. Um, I think that uh I'm happy he put it out. I can relate to it. Um, I'm looking forward for more. And if I had to rate it, strong nine, pushing up to a ten. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I mean, I need to get over this social consciousness. <laughs> how, does that, how does that even make sense? I, I, I mean, it's conscious, but it's not socially conscious. How does that even make sense? It's conscious, but not socially conscious. So what is it then? What is it? What type of conscious is it? Because I didn't know that. I thought conscious was just conscious. I didn't know that you could be socially conscious now. Like Another thing about y'all rap fans. I swear y'all make up rules as the game go along. And it's like, no. I'm not for that. I'm not going to let y'all make up rules as the game go along. We've been talking about conscious. Conscious. Been conscious forever. Now all of a sudden it has to be social. No. Torture talk.